On to the Path of American Way, so this time we are doing the classic mode in C difficulty, obviously. And to start things off, we get to choose our character. We can choose our main created character, which I obviously am going to do. Or we can choose any of the pros or the left characters as well. So here's my created character. I had to recreate him again in here in the menu area. Tony Hawk, Tony Alva, Bob Burnquist, Bam Margera, Roddy Mullen, Andrew Reynolds, Paul Rodriguez, Ryan Sheckler, Day One Song, Rick Forn, Tony Truo, uh, Mike Valley, Steve Williams, and of course, secret scares such as 70s Alva, 80s Hawk, Jason Ellis, Robo Tony, Jimbo, Lil John, yes, Lil John's here as well. There's a little Jimbo there is great. Yeah, it's Lil John. Yay! Iggy, Mega, Mindy, Murphy, Ball Player, Camera Guy, Cholo, Welder, Bobber, Carnival Worker, The Dogtown Guy, Frenchman, or well, Frenchy, and there you go. There's a lot more characters to unlock, obviously, and shit, but we're gonna be going through in classic mode first. And yes, we can actually, you know, add our tricks list as well this time. In story mode, you can't edit your tricks. In classic, you can. We're going to downtown first in Minneapolis. And it's high score, 100,000. That's the lowest. And the highest is 300,000. If a combo, is 75,000. Skate letters are back. Combo letters are here as well. Skate, the secret tape is here as well. Do uh, that one move out over the fountain and that move uh, over the red carpet. And an ollie over five barriers. Could be nice actually telling me what the trick was, but I, I get why you didn't. Anyway, you know how these modes work. I mean, this is where it kind of, you know, got introduced in a way, it got introduced in Fug 2. Uh, you know how it works at this point. We just gotta go ahead and get all this shit done as fast as possible. Or just as much as possible on a run and then that's it. Uh, when it came to Classic Mode beforehand, I haven't been able to get every single goal done in one run, I don't think. I think I might have done it like once, maybe. However, I do know there are some levels here, at least one level where I can do it. Uh, this is not one of them. She's that gap is here as well. The gaps are here. They're not as plentiful as they were beforehand, and I think they might have shortened it quite a bit. They might have also changed it quite a bit. I know Minneapolis here uh, has quite a lot of gaps to get through, so I don't think that's changed much. But I do know some others have not that many going on. 2T2, by the way. And of course, we're getting the tape, which is over by this building over here. You're gonna make a big jump for the building. Unfortunately, we don't seem to be able to make that jump very well because we're not that fast, not that height and such, so... Good thing I can get off my board. Roof to roof. And we got to go tape and the score done, so that's cool. And of course, stat points are here as well. No boards to collect, however. Uh, it's not that kind of game. However, we do get to get our fucking tape, our skate letters, our cumber letters, our scores, you know, and get our gaps, do some dumb shit like going over the red cup with a uh, hard flip. And, uh, yeah, for the most part, this is the entire thing. And, of course, eventually, I will start just jump kind of with me completing goals because I won't want, want you to, like, sit there and want to do the same shit over and over again for no good reason. And of course, you always have to fly by, so I'm gonna skip through them. Okay, skate is left, and uh, so is that shit. And also, uh, amount of set points available is five in each level. So yeah, you get to edge, by the way, and billboard grind. And over here is BS grind. Those are the gaps we just got right now. All three of them. Here's the K and the S. Next up is a stat point over here by this billboard. Then the A, which is right over to my left. There it is. There's also a gap here. Going over the truck. Make sure to go for the kickers. Truck gap. After that, we're going to go ahead and get the E. And then, I'm going to go ahead and 
get that T, because I missed it a little bit. I didn't see it. Okay, there we go. And the run. That's it, letter's done. Okay, over staff point, I'm going to put that into uh, rail. And moving on forward, we're now going to go ahead and go over these barriers, which is new here. A lot of these levels are going to be kind of similar to what they had beforehand, but there will be some differences here and there. Like, for instance, the barrier thing was not in the original of downtown Minneapolis, so that's new at least. And some of these gaps are new as well, but otherwise... Can I see a tunnel entrance? Sure, whatever. For the most part, I'm gonna get my stat. I missed it over here. I'm gonna upgrade one more bit of my skill here. Uh, let's see, put it on manual. And now it's time for the gap checklist. Is it gonna be short and sweet? I mean, I could go to Santa Cruz right now, but I might as well go through and go through the gap checklist of each level one by one. So, I mean, you know, you're getting classic levels at least. And I'm also playing a special edition version, so we have like two more of these, which is cool. Like, enough fucking around. Let's go into this checklist. First of all, jump over a moving car for car hop. Next up, you want to go ahead and just, you know, jump from the kicker upwards to here for kicker to street. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and then manual across the entire red carpet from one end to the other, and you will get red carpet hot shot. Go from the top one, it's easier. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and do this big jump across the street into this window here, break the window for any THPS's PG, and get second room gap out of it as well. You can go over here for a teleport. Next up, you want to go ahead and grind across this entire grind spot here for rail toll transfer. Also, Andy, notice me, please. Uh, after this, go ahead and use this kicker over here to jump across and grind this spot here for death grind. It's hard to get. Take a few tries. Next up, do a little bit of a bone dolly around this wimpy gap. And afterwards, you want to go ahead and jump over a standardized car for car holly. And then you want to go ahead and jump across from there into a window for glass, uh, glass gap. Then, use this kicker here and jump across this entire thing for BS gap instead of grinding it. And then, use some bit of speed and then jump across from here upwards, like so, for big ass. And after that, you want to go ahead and use this entire bit of speed here to ash up into the deck gap. Do the same thing, but a bit more wider in order to get, from there to there, the burly deck gap instead of the cheesy one. And then... Go ahead and jump across this entire uh, passageway of the tunnel for over the tunnel. And then just get some speed and go right through the tunnel inside all the way over instead of landing. You will get tunnel gap. And lastly, use this entire speed here. You might want to get some stats upgraded to from this kicker. And then do a grind over here for bone alley and all for dirty rail. And that's it. That is all the gaps of this level. Oh boy, get ready for a lot of these. <laughs> also, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix up my stats now, because I did need to upgrade my speed and ollie a little bit to make that a bit more manageable. I'll put the spin away. Okay, now we're moving on to the next level, which is Santa Cruz, uh, which is... Uh, I, I think it's one of them. I, uh, no, way, this isn't the actual thing. I forgot which ones are this... Uh, Special edition, and which ones are not? Hang on. Don't worry, this is all just like the shit you're seeing right now. Okay, we got the tape. Do a heel flip, I believe, over the thing. We'll kick flip. I don't remember what that one was, but over the bleachers. Knock the shoes down. And there you go. So, yeah. Not much going on here. I mean, you got your score from, you know, the normal to the sick. Uh, you got your combo. You got the combo and the skate. So that's six goals out of the way. You got the tape, that's seven. So the only room for three uh, unique goals, essentially. Also, this combo sucks. Okay, I had to check. We're not getting the levels in question until, like, at the very end, essentially. So, yeah. We're not getting it this part, but we're getting it next part. Uh, right now, however, I'm going to go ahead and get these two unique ones out of the way. The two unique ones are always a uh, trick one, like two trick ones, and then, like, an actual unique one, which is the shoes. So... 
kind of lame. <laughs> but I mean, it's still 10 out of 10 goals. It's still the usual. I'm not going to complain that much. Anyway, water jam. Some of the gaps are still here, but most of them are not. And uh, also, there is no extra area. You know how there was... Oh, by the way, this is getting in the way. You know how there was a door at like the very uh, start of the level where you could enter it after you get past the security guard and then you get this whole other area at the other side? That's not there anymore. That is entirely gone. So, um, yeah. There's less level here in American Wasteland compared to Fug T Remix's version. Which, there are a few Fug T Remix levels in this one. You already know that from Casino. Uh, but, you know, you're getting it here in Classic Mode as well. And you can see that it's, again, just more stripped down bullshit. So, really fucking sad. Really fucking sad. And, of course, we gotta, you know, make this happen. It's not doing it correctly. Why are you hip transferring onto the fucking rail game? There. Got it. Over the bridge stairs. We got the thing. I bailed. I did it, though. Didn't do much, though, but fuck it. I got a lot of gaps out of that. I got myself some points as well. I'm going to put that into run and flip. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead forward and do some jump cut. I'm going to get this fucking tape over here. Easy does. And uh, over here, I'm going to get the stat point. Then I'm going to go ahead and just get this gap over here for Volleywood to Derby. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do some bench grinds here to get the bench hop out of the way. Once that's out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, do a bit of an ass chop in here. And then just transfer across these uh, little huts here in order for me to get the greenhouse gamble. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and make a nice little bit of a jump there for stair to stair. And get a stat point at the very end here. Okay, moving on. Let me just go ahead and end it. There's secret tape. And I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade myself a little bit more. I'm going to put it on to... Last I'm going to upgrade is Switch, because Switch is kind of worthless. And, uh, yeah, let's get the K, get the S, all in these areas. After that, I'm going to go ahead and get the A over there. I'm going to go ahead and get the T and then the E. T's there, and the E is right here. Done. Skate done. Also... You can grab all the way over here. You can't jump across this spot, but no breakable. You just phase right through that little plank there. It's kind of weird. Also, I'm going to go ahead and get some score out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get the high score out of the way, as well as the combo, I believe. So, um, yeah. Nailed it. I'll get the six soon, don't worry. 150,000 points, easy. Watch, I'm going to get it right now. Look at how easy this is. Fucking hiss. Look at that, very close. Got a rail to ledge. Got a bit of a special there, and boom. Six score done, baby. You know what else is done? Me grinding across from here to get another gap. Around the top. I got those shoes too. I'm also going to get, you know, a few more gaps and stats. Like, hey, the stat there. Go right off that wall. There's nothing for that, though. And use this kicker over here to get up to this wire to get the downtown ledges to wire. Got a shoe, by the way. Then I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, do this. Get the wire hop. You also get from doing grinding, but, you know. However, I fucked up. Or this game fucked me, so I couldn't complete the shoe thing. Uh, I had to get up on this wire, which by the way, I think they raised this wire up a little bit because it's made it really hard to get up here compared to Fug T Remix. It's kind of dumb. Anyway, here's me getting all these shoes. And in case you're wondering, I did not land the gaps here, so I did bail. Uh, I lost them. But don't worry, I got the shoes and I got all the goals done, so that's what matters. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and start getting those gaps. Also, I'm going to put my point to switch because it's the only one left. I have to even myself out all the time. I'm always about to get that even. The gaps, much less than Fug, for, uh, Fug 2 uh, Bullshit Remix. Anyway, grind around this entire outer spot in order to get the, you know, 
grinding the do everything or whatever all the way through. I forgot about a lot of these gaps, honestly. I'm sorry. They're still about the same sort of shit as in Pro 2 Remix, but a lot less going on. Out of Debbie Rim, there we go. And then do a transfer across from here for Hotel the Street Transfer. After that, you want to go ahead and just, you know, use the spine transfer here, the spine transfer down below for the spine to the bowl. Afterwards, grind the spot here and then grind the wood over there for Derby Volleywood. A bit awkward to do, but there you go. And then just do this whole entire grind here for outside in. There's no inside out. I checked. Afterwards, do these grinds here for planner switch. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and just, you know, use this entire grind here to get a grind that apparently a lot of guys like to say you would never know unless you read the thing, but I always knew it. So it was here. It was always here. Anyway, grind this entire fucking wire all the way around. Like, literally, just grind it the entire circle and then some in order to get this gap over here, which is called Around the World. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and then let's check the spot here for high lip. Pretty easy. Then you want to go ahead and jump across this, in, this car hop here for car hop. It's a static car, the only car here in the entire level. And touch this entire spot here for hotel quarter pipe transfer. And then, run this entire bit of rope here from one end to the other like so for suspended pier hop rope. Suspended pier rope. There you go. Afterwards, grind the spot here and then grind over to the wire here from this jump for up and out. And then lastly, let's put this wire over here in the bowl in order to get high in the pool. And that's it. That's all the gaps for this level too. We have, I believe, one more level left to get through. So let's just go ahead and not do dally around here. Actually, I think we have two levels left. Uh, so yeah. Let's not fuck around. Let's continue on to the mall. So, yeah, a few Pro Skater 1 levels here. Minneapolis, the mall, Chicago. These are very much from the first game. High score. Pro score, 600,000 for sick. Yes. And the combo, 150,000 points. Skate letters. Combo letters. The tape. In the same spot it's always been. Uh, an impossible over the 16th set. I forgot what that was over the escalator. And the five directories. The same goal as back then. For the most part, the mall's goals are... I believe almost, if not exactly, the same as they were back then. In their position and all. In the directories, obviously. But also the combo letters and the skate letters. The, s the score, no, not so much. The score is much harder. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, a lot of the shit you were doing here back in the mall, it's still here. Of course, we're also having to, you know, do an impossible over the stair set, like I just did there. And then having to, you know, do a trick over the escalator, which I'm also going to do. But yeah, I mean, you know, get the score, get the tape, break these fucking plates of glass. I mean, this is pretty much the same exact shit. Okay, there's a stat point inside of there. Just break that, and then we are in the Nokia store. And there you go. Alright, let's just uh, see what else I can do right here. Can I get enough speed? That kicker actually gets rid of my speed. Okay. Great. Um, let's see. It's an A. I missed the K. You know, while I'm here again, that K, I might as well get the tape as well. So, the K is not there, though. Not the car hop, at least. We got the tape, though. Got the rail combo out of it. Um... Okay, I did not count for some reason. Did I do the wrong trick? I guess I did. Um, let's just go ahead and break the directories. Did I miss the... Oh, I did miss the directory. Oh, I'm fucking up so badly. This is embarrassing. Don't want to step one over here. I know how to get it. Done. Can I just show off the exit thing here? No? 
Okay. Got the score out of the way, though. Which means it's time for some jump cutting. You only have three left. And also, four stat points out of that run. That's good. I missed one, then. The usual, you know, get all the important balances and such out of the way. The speed, the ollie as well. And anyway, we get the S, get the K. Where's that K anyway? Well, it's directory. Let's see. Got fountain gap. Oh, the K is there now. Okay. Got the directory over here now. Here's the A. Get the directory over here too. And can I do it? Yeah, it's the airwalk. Okay. And hey, we got another directory destroyed. We got the T, got the more, and we got the E. All the directories and the loads were put together for this very purpose. And all goals are done. And yet teleport's still here, so now it's time. Oh, stat point. There it is. Right at the very beginning. Just hidden right above me. Okay. So that just happened. Now, let's get some fucking gaps out of the way. I don't think there's many gaps here, honestly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into run. And we'll look at the gap checklists for this one. Not much. So first of all, do this grind across downwards with flying leap. Be careful of crashing for this one. Afterwards, go ahead and just jump across this entire escalator here for going down gap. We'll get going up soon. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to go up here. You can see this entire area here, which is also not from the original mall. Uh, it's just, you know, this bit of the mall. If you use this path here, add it up there. However, however, if you use the, uh, the area on the other side, you'll end up right by the car, I believe. So, yeah. These teleports are kind of interesting, but ultimately useless. Yeah, see? Okay, time for more jump cutting. First of all, you want to go ahead and just, you know, do a nice big jump over the stairs for over the 16 stair set, which is what you're supposed to do, but whatever. And then, uh, you know, grab this entire grind here, left or right side doesn't matter, for, for the whole atrium. And now, take care of a manual through the store for the, uh, the Nokia gap. And now take care of these super hard fucking... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm kidding. We're not getting there yet. We're doing a nice little transfer here on the other one for going up gap. And now... Now we're going to go ahead and just get this big ass jump here for step off the mezzanine. Mezzanine. And then do the same thing but on the lower level in order to get over a huge ferry two stair set. And that's it. That is all the gaps the mall. Those last two are hard. But not that hard. But you'll struggle a little bit for them. Okay, now it's time for more level. We're doing four this time. I could have done more, but um, I feel like four is fine. So Chicago. This is one where I can complete all of these in one run. 750,000. Get the 200,000 combo. Get the skate, get the combo, get the tape. What about the uh, tricks and the special thing? A backflip, the pull hip. Uh, that move over the whoop gap. And a bone dolly over the wall. So, just all tricks. Got it. And considering I did it, game. I did the thing. Do I have to... Do I have to restart because the game just decided not to give me the fucking thing? Do I have to do that? Do I seriously have to fucking do that? Well, we're fucking doing it then. That's annoying. That's real fucking annoying. I didn't do any goals that time. That's that's embarrassing. Fuck you. Do it. There. I don't know why I didn't count beforehand, but whatever. I did the thing. Get the combo ladder out of the way. Do a quarter pipe transfer for that backflip. Broke all those bottles about. Do a nice little grind around here for that E. Get the stat point there. 
do that thing over the whoop. Double heel flip. No, not double heel flip. Uh, double impossible, I believe. Unless it's something else. A 360 flip. No! No, I'm wrong. I'm dead wrong. It is. No, I'm... I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Guys, I'm stupid. I'm ashamed of my stupidity. I'm sorry, it's a 360 shove it. I fixed it. Don't worry. I am stupid though. Incredibly dumb. Over the box. Fucking brainless. Got the stab one. That was not the backflip area. I wanna get the K though. Don't worry, I know what it is. It's this fucking bowl there. I have very, very barely made any progress here. And I have like 40 seconds left. Can I please, please get this shit done? There's a stat point here. There's an A over there. I want to get it done. Nailed it. Got the pull hip, got the stack, got the backflip. There's the A. Give me the A. Nice. There's a stat point over there as well. I'm going to go ahead and get that. I believe all I have left is the um, points and the tape. I gotta get. Oh no. I have five seconds left. Can I get the fucking tape and the score before it ends? Got the tape. My only hope now is to essentially flatland myself to victory for that fucking big score of 600,000. Can we do it? Of course you fucking can. It's my video. What, you think I wouldn't do it? You think I wouldn't be able to fucking pull off more than half a million points in one combo? You think I'm that much of a pussy at that point of these games? Bitch, you don't fucking know me! Especially this focus going on here. You don't know shit. Get fucked. All goals done in one go. Big wins. Big fucking wins. Get all those stat points up there. All five of them. Just make me look good. Even though that stat thing there you just saw there did not make me look good. Just ignore that. It didn't mean anything. Anyway, that's it for that one. Now it's time for some gaps, and then we're going to end the part here. There's not many gaps in this one. A bit more than the more, at least. First of all, manual across this entire spot here for doorway manual. Then get out of your board and just get into a combo run out, and then go through these doors for Ralph out by seven. Next up, you want to go ahead and just get a nice... Good grind here on the light there for light grind. Don't bail on it. It's a little bit awkward. No gaps around up there, but you'll see where the gaps are for that one soon. Uh, however, now it's in the manual across this entire ramp here, this entire half pipe, and then sticks out there for y'all's rooster. Then, go ahead and do a nice single slap on those posts here for Joe anyone. And afterwards, you want to go ahead and just, you know, do a nice sticker slap up there on that window for Fluffy Bunny. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and just ash up your way down there for walkway to pull. Do the reverse to pull the walkway. There you go. And then, get up here and then grind the spot there. Then grind to your right or your left. And then just grind all over these. Over these fucking posts there. In order to get this gap here pulled over the rafters. And lastly, go ahead and mail this entire bench here for Robin's Nest. And that's it. That is all of these gaps. And that is also the end of this part. So, next time in American Wasteland, we're going to beat Classic Mode. Because this is still a two-parter thing with classic stuff. It's still easy. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time for the last four.